get your guy. The whole world is crazy, man. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Talking Crazy 88 back again with another episode for you. Uh, wanted to do a quick video to, today as I'm on my way to work. Um, uh, yesterday I was reading an article in the news group on one of the news blogs and um, I found I found I, I found an article where uh, where uh, S. C. May Washington Williams passed away. Now, those of you, a lot of y'all, not familiar with that with that name, but this was a woman. She was the daughter of. Uh, The U.S. Senator of South Carolina, Strom Thurmond. You know, the half breed, um, illegitimate child of Strom Thurmond. Now, um, shit. Yeah, so. Anyway, yeah, she came out some time ago. Years, uh, a few months after Strom Thurmond died, um, came out as her, as that she was his daughter. And the family of Strom Thurmond acknowledged that she was his daughter. And, and for a number of years, he took care of her in secret. She would never, he would never acknowledge her in public because he was a known segregationist. And um, that was the culture of that time. Um, it, wasn't a, it, it wasn't a very popular culture. Segregation, um, Jim Crow. Uh, but here we go, here we go. We got a white man, a powerful white man who had it. We had a baby with a black woman who happened to be the servant, the maid, the family maid, um, who was 16 years old at that time. He was 22. The woman was 16. Um, I don't know what kind of relationship. I think it was just more, I, I think it was more that he was just getting some black pussy. And it went sideways. And he, she had the baby. And... Um, Family acknowledged it was his child. Um, but they never publicly acknowledged it. Now, I don't, I'm not a mental health professional, so I can't really get into the mind of, of someone who, uh, who for years never actually got the acknowledge, public acknowledgement from a powerful man, white man. Who was, who was my father, who happened to be her father. I can't, I, I can't really um, say anything because, um, again, she came out with a book, which I'm going to get, and I'm going to read it. Um, um, she had written a book, actually. And... Um, all I can tell you is, is that I, I'm reading an article and uh, they, they, they say they're trying to compare it to Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings. Another one, a powerful white man and a secret black girlfriend. <sighs> um, I'm going to give you my I'm going to give you my opinion on it. And this is something I've known for years. This is something that. Um, I had an opinion on, uh, on this story for a number of years, but I just never did a video on it until, well, today. Um, 
for those of you who say that this is some sort of a love story or a romance story, y'all are delusional. Um, sure, the man, Strom Thurmond, he was a politician. And let's not mix, I'm not going to mince words with it. He was a politician. He was a racist. Um, he cost a lot of black folks um, lives during the segregation and civil rights period. Um, he, he destroyed a lot of black people's lives. And, um, and for him to come out and just say, hey, you know, and not even acknowledge that he has a daughter, you know, that has to be hurtful. Um, and he was a, and I hate to say it, he was a, he, he, he was a tool. He was a piece of trash. Um, I, I, I don't have really too much good things to say about this guy. Um, except he made a lot of money in office on the blood of black people. Um, but I, but then again, I don't know his full legacy, so I, I'm just this is just my opinion. You know, I, I don't have any facts to back it up. Um, that's why it's an opinion. It's just something that I've heard about the guy for years, bits and pieces for years. But um, black women, we got black women. Y'all got to stop with. Um, um, trying to romanticize uh, relationships with white men because what she what he did to her was unfathomable is unconscionable um, I think I read in the story article that she was left out um, when they was placing the children's names on the statue uh, down in South Carolina, uh, they left out her name. <laughs> Even until death, he was an asshole towards this woman. I mean, the man was 100 years old. He had nothing to lose. Well, why did he keep, it to his, keep this secret to, in his grave? He had nothing to lose. Why? He had a he had a baby out of he had a black a half breed baby out of wedlock during the time of segregation. I'm sorry, it's during the time of segregation. Uh, I mean, back then he would have he um, back then, he would have lost everything his family worked for. He would never, probably would have never been senator. And I, I can understand that. Well, I can't understand that, but, you know. I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm going to post the article in the description box, gang. And I'm going to leave the comment section open and send your video response. Um, uh, tell me what you think. Listen, this is Talking Crazy 88, and I am out of here, people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I was also thinking about, yeah, that TV show Scandal. Um, I've never seen that show. From what I heard about the See, gang, I'm, I don't know anything about what's going on. about, But what I can understand is that I see a lot of black women trying to go after these white men. And believe me, if you do get a powerful white man, I guarantee you that he will keep you in secret. He will not acknowledge you. And you, and you nigger, nigger asses, nig, nig, niggers are going to accept it. Uh, you remember what I told, when, I, when I talked about black folks having no standards? This is what I'm talking about. We have no standards. We have no dignity. It, just my thoughts. Um, I don't know about Miss Wa Washington Williams. Uh, I don't know what was going on in her head. 
um, for all these years. But I can tell you from, if it was me, I don't know. I, I would be in a whole lot of pain. I'd be hurting. Even at 70, even at 87 years old, I wouldn't have anything nice to say about him. My father, who, who did not even acknowledge Using a new path is not always picture perfect. All right, gang, I got to run. This is Talking Crazy 88. Now I'm, I'm actually out of here. I got to get to work.